Tensions in Hong Kong are at boiling point after a protester was shot by a police officer during a street confrontation on Monday. The entire incident was caught on film and actually live-streamed via Facebook around the world. For more on this and other news from around the world, let's turn to our Kim Dami. So only one place to start today, Dami. Give us the details about what was just another chaotic day in Hong Kong. Right, Mark. It all began with Hong Kong police opening fire on people gathered for a rally, which eventually left a 21-year-old student sprawling on the ground after being hit by a bullet. On Monday, a group of protesters took to the streets to pay their respects to a university student, Charles Lok, who died last Friday after falling from a third-floor parking lot earlier in the week in an attempt to avoid tear gas a fire by police. According to Hong Kong-based South China Morning Post, police fired a total of three live rounds on Monday. Major universities and over 30 subway stations were closed due to violent clashes between demonstrators and riot police. And at least 64 people were injured. The tensions are so high there are concerns that the Hong Kong chaos may even escalate and become something akin to a second Tiananmen Square massacre China's bloody crackdown in 1989 against student pro-democracy movements in Beijing. Calling the demonstrators the people's enemy, Hong Kong's embattled leader Carrie Lam said on Monday that rioters were relentlessly destroying society. She left no apology but signs that control over the Chinese world city are to be strengthened. Despite the Hong Kong government's threats, Protesters plan on Tuesday to continue to pay their respects to Chow and fight for greater democracy.